Hey, guess what? I'm back, y'all. <laughs> so first of all, I apologize for being on such a long hiatus. I believe it's been almost two months since my last video. Um, lots of stuff has been happening. Um, work travels. I was actually sick for the better part of a month, and I just got. To, I'm still got my ears plugged and everything. Uh, and I didn't really want to make a video while I'm still sick because I had sniffles and I just didn't sound very good. Um, and lots of things to update. So um, I'm, I've got about two or three videos I'm going to be recording today and then releasing throughout the week to try and get this thing jump started again. I sincerely apologize for not being around. Um, it's funny though. Uh, I was, I still get some messages and stuff, like people are still subscribing to the channel, I think we're at like 215 subscribers, I mean, it's not huge, I mean, my channel, I don't, I don't expect it to ever be huge, huge, but, you know, I, I like the fact that I can still help some people and uh, get things going, so there's a couple topics I want to talk about today, um, but this is the, um, the latest installment of the My Journey series, so my progress check, so... To start off, um, right now it is February 8th. It is my birthday month. My birthday is in roughly 19 days. Um, well, exactly 19 days. <laughs> and uh, this is year 2020. So my first video of 2020. Can you believe it? <clears throat> so it's almost been a year. Um, it's, been, it's been around 10 months. Uh, and there hasn't really been much weight-wise to report on. Um, since uh, since my last update video, um, I, I have dropped a couple pounds right now. Uh, well, like reverse it. Let's do the whole thing now. So I want to say that uh, my highest weight prior to surgery was 378 pounds. Uh, my surgery weight was 363 pounds. Uh, I had my surgery at uh, via the service called Mexico Bariatric Center. If you want to know more information about that, uh, pay attention to the end of the video. Um, and I had the duodenal switch surgery or duodenal switch in the traditional version of that. Uh, and then my current weight is a zesty 221 pounds or 220 pounds, 222 pounds. I've been kind of fluctuating in that for about the past month. Now, what I will say is that I see a lot of people who post on like the support groups and things like that talking about stalls. I have officially hit my stall, um, but I don't think... I'm done shrinking. And what I mean by that is while my weight has kind of maintained itself, I do feel that my body has been uh, still making some differences in, an, in and of itself and in, in turning things out. A couple things I've noticed is, you know, if you notice, I've been wearing the same kind of watch um, in most of my videos. And what, what you haven't really known, what, what, for those of you, I've never talked about this, but I've, I've had bands removed on it as I've been shrinking. And even though my weight hasn't really been fluctuating um, this watch actually is still in like it was up here just a couple like a month ago pretty solid and now it, it can do that and it can actually go all the way around my wrist again and that means that I'm still shrinking I, I mean my, my wrists are getting smaller my entire body's getting smaller this is a large size shirt and let me tell you it is you know quite quite big on me now, and uh, these jeans are also, these are size 33 jeans, uh, and, you know, there's, there's some room there still there, so I could probably fit into the 32s if I really, really wanted to have a little bit of a tighter jean set, but I mean, I, I don't think I look bad or anything like that, uh, <laughs> but the, the thing I would like to point out, though, is you know, the topic of the day is transitional clothing and skin. Skin, 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 skin. Uh, and a lot of the questions I get now from people, because they, particularly people who haven't seen me in a long time, and they'll see, like this last week, for example, I took a trip to see some of my nor Northern California buildings for, with my company, and uh, when they first saw me, they're like, holy crap, you're like tiny now. You're, well, comparatively tiny. I'm, you know, I'm still a pretty large dude you know, stature-wise in general, but the the thing I, I did notice is that they're like, you shouldn't get any smaller, you look good the way you're at, and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, like, eh. I mean, I don't want to get too much smaller, but I mean, like, my goal was to get down sub 210, maybe around 205, I didn't really ever think that I was, you know, given my shoulder width and girthiness of just my natural body, 
uh, that I would ever get into the Wonderland, you know, and for those of you who don't know, Wonderland is sub 200. Um, I don't think that would be a healthy look for me. I don't feel like that would be ever be a healthy look for me. I mean, like, I remember in uh, sixth grade when I tried to get into football, I weighed over 170 pounds in sixth grade. Mind you, I was like five foot seven <laughs> in sixth grade, so I wasn't a small, small kid to say the least. But, you know, I, uh, when, even when I served in the army and I was outright, my, my leanest, which was like basically right out of basic training, um, I weighed 208 pounds and I was rocking like a four pack. So, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Now, what I will say is that because I have a history of being athletic um, and I did have that whole gain weight, drop weight, gain weight, drop weight type of situation, um, I do have some residual muscle, uh, and my body has kind of kept that contouring. And so, you know, if I was going to show you a shirtless pic, which I am not going to do, um, <laughs> you would see that there is some, some cut lines that are starting to happen here. And you can actually start to see a little bit of the outline of, you know, uh, abdominals, which is kind of cool, even though I'm not working out, uh, that heavily or honestly at all at the moment because I was sick this last couple months, but, um, there's that whole thing. Um, speaking of which, a little sidebar. Um, one of the things I've discovered once I've reached down this lower lower weight pattern here is that when I was bigger, I would get like sick in a very unique way. Like I would get sick um, like really hard at first, and I would be sick for like 48 hours, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm good. You know, like I still have some sniffles here and there, but it'd be gone. Now. I get sick, it's like a ramp, like I get sicker, 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 kind of level off being sick, and then it slowly, slowly, slowly starts to die down. And that means the sickness doesn't really go away. So like, for example, I got sick, and then I got better, but then I started feeling woozy or whatever, and then I, I slowly got sick again. And I'm like, gosh, dang it, like it, it's just been a perpetual sickness, you know, travel trail or whatever you want to call it. And it's been a very difficult, um, healing process and so I, I think some of that has to do with nutrition uh, and I also think some of that has to just do with the fact that my body doesn't have enough like as much energy um, as it used to with me packing on all those calories and things like that so it, it's kind of funny with all the health benefits of being smaller there are some things that being bigger does protect you from and uh, you know because our bodies are always warmer protected insulated whatever it may be and have lots of energy stores I guess but that helps uh, when you do get uh, smaller. Now, um, skin. Uh, because the reason why I was talking about being in the army and being athletic at one point, um, I had a discussion with a nurse, and she was telling me, like, well, you know, uh, because you know you have that musculature, it helps you know tighten things up. Like your skin is not just going to loose just being loose. You do have musculature that it kind of can form around, so it doesn't make it look like you know you have as much loose skin all around your body. Now, I'm not saying I'm buff or anything like that. That's not at all what I'm saying because I do have some, do have some jigglies. And if I, was, if I was a female, I would probably have a little bit more jigglies because the fat storage is different on males versus females. But um, I will say that, you know, I do have at the bottom where my belly hang is. Now, mind you, I don't have a ton of belly hang anymore which is super, super cool. But I do have like this little tiny, like little flap of skin down there. Um, if you've ever seen, um, you know, or, or if you're married or if you've ever had kids and, or if you have a sister or mom and you notice like after they have a kid, they have that little tiny like pooch um, where the skin was kind of stretched out a little bit. That's kind of minimally what's happening with me. Um, it is not that bad, but I mean, it is something that I'm just like, eh, I'm not a big fan of it. So, you know, once I get to like a year and a half mark and I want to maybe take care of that, I could probably have it surgically altered because it's not a huge, huge thing. But I don't know if it's worth it because unlike other people who have skin that they could literally like pull out to like maybe like a foot or two away from their body, mine, like I can literally pull like maybe like this much out. Like right to, maybe I can even show you a little bit. Like that's it. That's all. <laughs> so um, I don't know if that's worth even considering uh, a surgical, you know, differentiator, uh, unless I'm trying to become like an Amber Crombie and Fitch model or something like that. Uh, but, you know, I, I 
I'm trying to do a total body transformation and, ha and have, you know, me looking my best at the pot that, that I can. Now, mind you, I'm in my mid-30s, okay? I turned 36 this month, and I don't know if surgery is really in the wheelhouse right now or necessary. Um, little, little sidebar here, I'm going to make another video kind of expanding on the whole dating situation. I do have a girlfriend now, which is super super exciting because she's absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous not just physically but inside and out and uh but she is a little younger than me um and i want to you know be comparable to all those young bucks out there uh but <laughs> but at the same time like you know she seems to like me for, for who i am she's no she knew that i was bigger i've not held anything back i mean when you have a youtube channel you can't really hide the fact that you had surgery but you know i also eat and, and drink uh wiser and help out um, you know, in fact, uh, zero sugar options for a lot of different stuff is there. This is not an endorsement of Gatorade. I mean, I drank Powerade for a long time. This is, I'm just letting you guys know that, that sugar-free is still a big part of things. Um, I do, there will be another video talking about some uh, hypoglycemia type of situations um, that I've kind of been experiencing um, that uh, not very many people who've had bariatric surgery have brought up or talked about that I have discovered, so I want to make sure to bring that to the forefront um, as something to be on the lookout for when you do get further along into, into your weight loss journey. Um, but for the most part, I can't really complain. Once again, like I am now in a much healthier state. You know, I, I feel good when I'm flying. I don't have to worry about people, you know, getting on my nerves or get, uh, me getting on their nerves because they're sitting next to the big guy. Um, I don't have to have seatbelt extenders anymore. I can sit in any seat. I mean, I'm still broad shouldered, but I'm not exactly, I'm not overly crazy big anymore, which is, which is so nice. Um, I do feel that one thing out there for those of you who have had surgery and are kind of watching these videos as a progression marker, um, don't be discouraged when you hit that point of where you're not really losing weight. Take, try and take a picture of yourself and, and see, like, is your face changing? Is your overall body changing? How are your clothes fitting? You know, are your clothes still getting looser? Because just because you're the same weight doesn't mean your body's still not adapting down. You know, I have to remember that I still have a lot of musculature from when I was athletic underneath all of that fun-loving insulation that I had put on over the years. And, uh, you know, I may not be able to get down to a certain physical weight, um, but I also need to make sure that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of main, trying to maintain a little bit. I have actually forced myself to start eating um, more periodically throughout the day. Um, a couple meal things that I've done, uh, I think I did a, uh, a uh, video, a couple videos ago about some of the uh, low carb pizza choices with the cauliflower crust. Um, I went a little overboard on those and just so that you know you shouldn't be eating one of those every single day uh, not good um, I do still do nuts you know and, and things like that these are you know this does have a little bit of sugar in it so just be mindful of that um, for my coffee I do drink coffee I do use I do not use any sweeteners that have sugar in them I use a stevia and monk fruit combination packets um, as you saw earlier, I have, uh, you know, Gatorade Zero. I have been doing all wheat crackers with some peanut butter sp uh, spread on top of them for some, you know, um, for some grain. And I have been taking some uh, Metamucil um, fiber pills to kind of help me along with my, um, my, normal, my normal bariatric vitamins I've been taking. I did have a blood panel done around uh, a month ago and it's, everything came back. My, my B12 levels were okay. Everything seemed to be okay there. Um, but uh, there wasn't any big red flags. So biologically speaking, um, I'm pretty good as far as other, like as far as I can tell so far. Um, I do wanna, I will be making a video about the hypoglycemia thing um, that, uh, that, uh, that, I, that I've just recently discovered that I may be, may be having issues with. That's a very loud motorcycle. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so look forward to that. Um, I want to also thank all of you that have continued to watch my videos or even subscribe when I've been on this little bit of a hiatus. Um, it has been um, quite endearing. I haven't had a, I mean, there, there's been a few comments here and there that have been like, eh, whatever, 
friends, the internet, whatever, you know, get over it. But, you know, for the most part, you know, I'm just here to help. I'm here to just share my journey and thoughts. Um, like I said, I'm not getting anything uh, compensation wise for uh, for this channel. There's no ads on it or anything like that. Um, maybe if we get the thousand, a thousand subscribers, I may start to monetize some of these videos, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then obviously we have the, I have that partnership with Mexico Bariatric Center. Uh, and if you are interested in doing um, uh, a bariatric surgery, whether it be the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, uh, the duodenal switch, or the tra traditional gastric bypass room and why, um, or even a revision, you have the option of getting a discount through my link, um, which is right up here, but it's MexicoBariatricCenter.com slash that BS guy. Uh, and once you put in your information, they will contact you and start the process of getting you to move forward and give you a discount. Um, I don't get anything for it. So just, you know, it is a discount because I am a former patient and they know that, you know, word of mouth referrals are a very powerful thing nowadays. So I'm telling, telling you that uh, if you are in a situation where you don't have insurance or you're just trying to get it moved up or you don't want to go through that six months worth of, you know, co-pays and doctor's checkups, you can actually get, uh, schedule your appointment with them. It's a very good service. Like, like uh, I do have a link down below about my personal review on them and what it entailed and what you should expect if you decide to go that route based upon my experiences. Um, but anyways, that's all I got for today, folks. Uh, please look forward to the next couple videos. Um, one's going to be on dating and the next one's going to be on the, uh, the blood sugar levels. Um, and I hope that you all have a great, great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.